What up guys, this is Vince coming to you with another video. Today I wanna to talk about why I turned down a $100,000 a year starting pay job. Starting pay, $100,000. Well, the main reason why I turned down this job was because, I mean, there's various reasons and the job was a, a tanker driver. So hauling fuel locally. Uh, it was a specifically it was a truck company called Superior in Colton and um, yeah I basically I um, I turned it down because well first of all I wasn't even gonna I wasn't even gonna take the road test but then I thought about my 80 year old self and I was like thinking well if I'm 80 years old and looking back at this time in my life Am I gonna regret not going and, and trying out like the road test and see if I pass? So I had two road tests back to back. One day it was at McLean, the next day it was at the um at the superior tank lines in Colton and I passed. I passed it was it was a trip to um it was a trip to uh to, to drive to look back in my my side view mirror and see a freaking um a tank that was hauling it was a trip i barely passed though because i was like grinding gears because prior to that all my companies had automatic trucks so i didn't drive a i didn't drive a stick shift for like a year so i kind of fucked up a little bit but um yeah, I ended up passing. The guy gave me a chance, but I thought about it. I did my research on the effects that hauling fuel and just fuel, being around fuel for a long period of time would have on your body. And what scared me the most is there wasn't too much research on long-term effects of being around fuel that I could find. So with that in mind and, and, and about, I was just thinking about like how it aligned with my, my purpose in life and um not only that but just the fact that i'd be around fuel scared the fuck out of me so i just you know i just decided that it would be best to not take the job but the starting pay was a hundred thousand dollars like starting pay that was the main thing that was was the health reasons for me not to take that job but the second reason which was just as important as the first i feel like was the time I wasn't going to be able to have the time to work on my music. I wasn't going to be able to have the time to perform at open mic shows or out of state if I want to do that. I wasn't going to have the time to work on out my album, my music, making beats. You wouldn't see like this vlog right now that you're seeing. You wouldn't see as, as much stuff that I'd be putting out because of the fact that I'd be working five to six days, 12 to 14 hour days, you know, and, and when I'd be off, I'd probably just want to sleep, you know? So like with this job, I'm, I'm, I work, I work, uh, four days and then I'm off three days. So I have a lot of time to work on music and, you know, do my thing. So, um, that's basically why I chose to pass up this hundred thousand dollar a year opportunity. And to be honest with you, I, I could make that here at this company if I really wanted to with the overtime, but I want to put half of my week into my music and things I want to do and relaxing and just just my overall well-being you know hanging out with friends just relaxing you know and I couldn't I couldn't do that with with other jobs it's bad enough with trucking that they make you work or they don't make you most companies will make you work your full 70 hours because fet, uh, it's a federal law that as truck drivers we could work 70 hours a week up to 70 hours a week we don't have to but we have 70 hours a week which is damn near two two uh two weeks of of regular you know hourly um i guess like regular a regular work week is 40 hours so it's like double that almost so with this job i'm only working like 50 hours a week so it's a little more than the normal but um it still gives me the time to do what i want to do so that was the main thing why i passed up the, the opportunity that i felt was like you know um a big opportunity for me to make a hundred thousand dollars a year but i you know what what, what really what really um i guess uh made me realize out of the whole situation from turning that down was the fact that it did something to my mind like it did something to my mind at that moment 
where I told where it, it was like a uh, like in my face where I was just like if I'm offered a job where I could make a hundred thousand dollars to start what's keeping me from making a hundred and twenty thousand what's keeping me from making two hundred thousand a million you know what I mean like it's just a number the fact that I got to this point especially being like a um, a relatively young man you know I'm only 30 I just turned 30 not too long ago well I guess I'm about to be 31 but um it feels like not too long ago but anyway um just the fact that I got offered that job in my head it made me realize that like I really like anybody really like if you really think about it you have unlimited potential you know when it comes to like how much money you want to make it's just really about having this idea in your mind and knowing that it's possible and then working towards that idea with anything really um so yeah that opened up my mind and my my life to a whole another world of like whoa you know like what the fuck i'm offered a hundred thousand dollars like i didn't even go i mean i went to college but i didn't even graduate college like you know i barely graduated high school and the fact that like you know someone's offering me that much money opened up my mind to the fact that i can i can make you know way more than that if i really want to you know like that's not the end goal you know is to make just a hundred thousand or like even two hundred thousand or even a million like that's not that's not like that's that's a goal of mine like to make more money but like that's not the end goal like i, I really want to make a difference and i want to you know i want to inspire but aside from that just the fact you know like i was saying um it really opened up my mind to this whole this concept of you know money is just really a number and it's really up to you what you do with um with the ideas in your head you know are you gonna just have them be dreams and ideas or are you gonna like actually take action and work towards them and and manifest that shit you know so that's uh basically what i wanted to cover today is um you know, those were the takeaways for for me was you know opening up my mind to this whole idea of you know i have unlimited potential and um yeah just the, the health risks were just too crazy for me to to take that job so um i don't think i called them back or i might have called them but they didn't answer or something but they hit me up you know like, like most legit jobs they emailed me and said you know you got like so and so days to like hit us back but at the time i was already working at mclean so i took that instead but um but yeah um that's the reason why i passed up my hundred thousand dollar starting pay offer but um i know that i'm gonna surpass that number with um my other ventures in this job so i'm not worried about that but um yeah that was uh my little story about how i got offered that and turned it down more stories to come once again this is belzar vince check out my youtube belzar is the name and you know i'm gonna have like a lot more videos coming up telling stories of my trucking um endeavors and, and trips and journeys i have a lot of stories to tell and uh, right now i'm currently in uh what is this this is arizona I'm mile marker 88 rest stop it's raining i have plenty of time to like just chill before my appointment so i'm just gonna hang out here for like another hour probably and then uh yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share your opinions you know um it's a, i want my channel to be a community so don't be afraid to voice your opinions and i'll respond to pretty much everybody i can if i miss you apologies i know sometimes um for some reason youtube puts the comments in like a spam folder that i can't access and, and i'm still learning how to get to those comments so bear with me but um hope you guys are having a good day and be safe out there